Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom. And you know what time it is, because, well, technically you already saw the title of the video, Graphic Collection Time. So let's go ahead and give you a tour of all of the crazy books that are behind me and all that fabulous comic book collecting. And I am going to include some manga as well, because, uh, yeah, why the heck not? So my graphic novel slash manga collection tour video for 2019. Let's do it. You know, it's a little random, but I do have to begin the video with this uh, intricate artistic stack of books. Uh, basically, the first one is the art of the Aquaman movie. Then is the ballpoint beauties from Frank Cho, the Stan Lee Romeo Juliet adaptation, and uh, what the heck is this book? Anatomy of the Metahuman, the Oni Press Kaiju Max Deluxe Edition hardcover. Uh, Sky Doll Volume 4? Something like that? Yeah, Sky Doll. And the Fantastic Four Behold Galactus Super Duper uh, Gigantic uh, Edition. And some uh, Japanese inspired uh, displays, you know, with uh, Gundam, Astro Boy, you got Frankie over there, Godzilla, Robotech, a random Groot. Just, you know, just chilling. Here is my Frank Cho Wonder Woman statue. The Sideshow Aquaman, Mesco Hellboy figures, my favorite action figures right there, and next up, <laughs> a bunch of video game statues, uh, figurines or whatever. Here we have Link, Connor from Assassin's Creed 3, Injustice Wonder Woman vs. Batman, Aloy, Liara from Kotobukiya, Mass Effect. Uh, my two uh, Overwatch statues, Tracer, Mercy, and of course, uh, Chun-Li, one of my favorite uh, fighting games of all time, Street Fighter. So yeah, let's get into the books, shall we? All right, so let's begin with my favorite part, the manga section. It's divided into uh, the following four cubes in this uh, Kalak shelf and another separate one that I'm going to show off at the end of the video. But yeah, we start off with one of my favorite manga series of all time, Berserk. I absolutely love it. And as you can see, I am getting the deluxe editions and uh, upgrading them as they come out. So we have up to volume 39, volume 40. Uh, it hasn't arrived for me as of this video. So just imagine a volume 40 right there. Next up, this is a shared cube with three series that I like. Let me... Uh, move this guy out of the way what we have here is that time i got reincarnated as a slime from kodansha comics we've got the ancient magus's bride volumes one through ten over there you got all six volumes complete of spirit circle the first volume of monster infirmary here we get into my Shonen collection, basically Shonen Jump series. We got My Hero Academia volumes. Well, you can you can see. Let me move these guys out of the way. Uh, all from volume one all the way up to volume twenty. And over here, three of my favorite manga and shows uh, with their anime adaptations. We got Demon Slayer, Doctor Stone, and Hunter x Hunter. So yeah, those four cubes are like my ongoing collected manga, if you will. So yeah, one quick look over here with Berserk over there at the beginning. So we move on to uh, non-Big 2 comics that I really, really freaking like. And uh, this is in my top 10 comics of all time. It is Mike Miola's Hellboy. Uh, I do have those, but, uh, you know, other tales is fine, but the other ones, like the 1950s series, I'm kind of waiting to see if they put out the hardcovers, so I never bothered getting the rest of them, so they're just sitting there. <laughs> Couple pops. Over here, 
is the uh, other world from the uh, Mignola verse. We got BPRD. That's Abe Sapien over there. Yeah, of course. That's Plague of Frogs. 1946 to 1948. Uh, again, uh, Lobster Johnson, I'm waiting to see if they ever put out a collected edition hardcover. Witchfinder, the same thing. There's an omnibus coming out, so I'm waiting for that instead of continuing the uh, series on trades. Next one over here, it's mostly IDW. Well, everything's IDW here, but my favorite thing ever, it is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW hardcovers. Just fantastic. Here we have the first nine. I only have one Transformers book. I need to change that because I know the series is great. I just haven't collected anything. Over here, we also have the lock and key. Let me get this guy out of the way. The lock and key trade paperback slipcase edition, all in one hefty package. Falling for Lionheart, great indie title. And over here, I know these two figures don't make sense being here, but <laughs> whatever, uh, my Valiant collection. I don't have a lot. Um, these are the only trades I got, but the hardcovers are what you guys like, right? Exo Man of War, Bloodshot, Harbinger, Archer and Armstrong, Quantum and Woody, Ninjak, uh, Rye, and 4001 AD. And over here with the trades, Divinity, Faith, Valiant, Armor Hunters, basically the events and the smaller series, uh, Dr. Mirage, etc., etc. Right, we go down below to Marvel. And this is my Spider-Man cube. I used to have a lot more if you watched the previous videos, uh, but I'm content with what I have. Uh, basically, we take this out of the way so I can show you. Uh, yeah. Here we have the Amazing Spider-Man omnibuses, the first four, the uh, Stan Lee and Ditko material, and uh, John Romita as well, and everybody else that was involved. And of course the Roger Stern uh, omnibus, followed by the Straczynski run on the Ultimate Collection, or the Ultimate Collection? Yeah, the Ultimate Collection trade paperbacks. Those are the first four. Over here we continue with Marvel. Let's take this. Uh, alias Omnibus out of the way, as you can see. Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 5 of the Ultimate Collection. Uh, only one brand new day. I used to have all the brand new day stuff. I only have this volume left. That is Spider-Man by Mark Miller. And just uh, trades, lots of Marvel trades right there. Avengers, Angela, Black Widow, Exiles. Infinity Gauntlet, New Mutants, Red Hulk, the Jeff Parker stuff, Runaways. Then over here, this one's a little bit crowded. Let's take this out of the way. Like a lot of collectibles, like everybody else. Uh, one of my favorite omnibuses of all time, <laughs> the New Avengers omnibus. I know we don't have more of them, but I still love this book so much. It means a lot to me. And one of my favorite events of all time, Secret Invasion, which is basically sort of a volume two, just missing a few issues in between. Um, we have more trades, Scarlet Witch, Secret Warriors from Hickman, She-Hulk, uh, Silk, Spider-Man, Thanos, Immortal Iron Fist, Superior Foes of Spider-Man, Gwenpool, Ultimates, Uncanny Avengers, Young Avengers, Vision, and the only Star Wars books I still own, the Darth Vader run in trades. Then we move on to the next shelf, which is very cosmic heavy. As you can see, the uh, cosmic pops, if you will. Um, Annihilation, Conquest, the War of Kings trilogy. Next to uh, the first Avengers by Hickman omnibus. Guardians of the Galaxy from Dugan. Infinity Wars and Infinity Countdown, right? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Avengers No Surrender. Instead of continuing, because next would be DC, I'm going to go down below for another row of Marvel books. This is my Thor slash Inhumans shelf with uh, more pops. Uh, we got the Jason Aaron stuff, the two God of Thunders, the three uh, 
the female Thor, Miss Marvel, the Inhumans, which I really love, right there. So yeah, I think I, if memory serves me right, I think I have everything uh, in collected edition. You got Origin of the Inhumans, then uh, let's see, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, then the Roy Thomas, Neil Adams, uh, with the Beware the Inhumans. He got it by Rite of Birth, then the Paul Jenkins stuff, and this crossover, and then Inhuman from Charles Soule, Uncanny Inhumans, All New Inhumans, Karnak, Death of X, Inhumans vs. X-Men, Royals, uh, Ones and Future Kings, Black Bolt, and Death of the Inhumans. Might as well mention these guys, Axis, Hardcover, and Thanos by Donny Cates. Speaking of cosmic and all things awesome, this is my Fantastic Four cube. Got the uh, Marvel Legends figures right there. These two Omnis are the uh, John Byrne Omnibuses, followed by Mark Wade, Jonathan Hickman, and the Silver Surfer Slot Omnibus. And over here, Secret Wars from Jonathan Hickman. We move on to my favorite part of my Marvel collection, the Ultimate Universe, which I really love. This is Ultimate Spider-Man. I need to, let me get this out of the way. I need to get rid of those four books and uh, upgrade to volume 11 of the oversized. I never did. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Ultimate Peter Parker and Miles Morales Omnibus with the uh, crappy binding. Then we continue to Ultimate Fantastic Four, which bleeds into Ultimate X-Men, The Ultimates, Ultimate Comics, when Hickman was on it, uh, Ultimate Comics X-Men, this, uh, yeah, the uh, Universal Horror Monsters. I love these guys. Ultimate Comics Avengers Omnibus. That was my very first Omnibus, by the way. And then I also have Ultimate Comics Divided We Fall, United We Stand. All right, we are moving up to my Aquaman cube, my favorite cube. Yeah, you know I was gonna talk about it. Chronologically speaking, this is everything collected. The only thing I do not have that's in trades and stuff is the uh, Death of a Prince, which is coming out in Deluxe Edition soon, and Sword of Atlantis, which is getting reprinted with more issues. I think I have everything, All right? The Search for Mira. Legend of Aquaman, the Atlantis Chronicles, the Peter David stuff, which, man, got canceled with volume two. What the heck? Aquaman Tempest, uh, Water Bearer, all the way up to Kingdom Lost. We're missing one trade that goes between uh, Water Bearer and Sub Diego, and we'll have this whole run completed. Hopefully that happens. We got Aquaman by Jeff Johns Omnibus. And then the Jeff Parker stuff, Cullen Bunn, Abnet, Aquaman and the others, uh, the Rebirth Aquaman, the Mira miniseries, Aquaman Suicide Squad crossover, Justice League Aquaman Drowned Earth, and the first volume of Kelly Sue DeConnick's run from Aquaman. Here we have the events, the Crisis stuff, uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, Identity Crisis, Infinite Crisis 52, Final Crisis, uh, Flashpoint, then we move on to my Titans collection, which is, you know, it's lacking, it needs more stuff, but I'm happy with it. Step 5 from uh, Wolfman and Bettis, Teen Titans from Jeff Johns, and then uh, the start of the Rebirth era, and then it crosses over to the Bat stuff. So we have Batgirl, uh, the Stephanie Brown run, and then we have the New 52 post Simone, because I'm waiting to see if they ever do a Omnibus 4 uh, Batgirl New 52. That I would get, because I love that run. Uh, there's the Burnside Babs, Batwoman from Greg Rucka, which is getting, you know, we're getting a New 52 slash Elegy Omnibus. That's exciting. Speaking of Batman, that's the start of the Batman collection right there. Uh, the Killing Joke Deluxe Edition hardcover. And then just a bunch of trades. Year one, uh, basically the essentials. I don't have uh, extensive runs on the character. I just have like very famous storylines and stuff that I like. Uh, you got year one, Dark Knight Returns, The Long Halloween, Dark Victory, Haunted Night, Arkham Asylum, Under the Red Hood, you got Batman Hush. Then it moves on to the New 52 stuff, 
Batman Eternal, Batman and Robin Eternal, the recently released Batman White Knight. The Batman Omnis that I own include Gotham Central, the Grant Morrison run, Missing Volume 3, which hasn't come out as of this video, Batman and Robin, the New 52 run from Tomasi and Gleason, and the Rebirth Tom King Deluxe hardcovers. This front row is uh, my uh, small Wonder Woman collection. You got the New 52 Absolute Wonder Woman run, uh, the first omnibus from George Perez, you got the first two uh, trades from the Greg Rucka run, and then you got uh, Who is Wonder Woman and Love and Murder, which was after Infinite Crisis. You got the standalone Legend of Wonder Woman from uh, Rene Deleuze, Wonder Woman to True Amazon from Joe Thompson, Odyssey of the Amazons, Rebirth Wonder Woman from Greg Rucka, uh, Wonder Woman and Justice League uh, Dark, The Witching Hour, and then it sort of bleeds into Justice League Dark. Uh, perfect spot to put them, right? Oh, and uh, Justice League Odyssey. Here we have Demon Knights, New 52, Frankenstein, Agent of Shade, I Vampire, Doctor Fate, Shazam, the Jeff Lemire Green Arrow, the uh, Rebirth Green Arrow, the Flash from Rebirth, uh, Green Lantern Rebirth, and then we got that crossover Godhead because I love the new gods, uh, the Omega Men, Power Girl, Power Trip. This is the Jeff John stuff with uh, Palmiotti and Gang. He got the Demon from Jack Kirby. Prez from Mark Russell. The Paul Dini collection from Zatanna. That uh, Black Canary and Zatanna Bloodspell original graphic novel. And the two Harley Quinn New 52 Omnis. Next up is my Superman collection, which is not a whole lot. Just uh, some very famous storylines like All-Star Superman, Birthright, Red Sun, the Superman Batman run Supergirl, Superman American Alien, and the Tomasi and Gleason Rebirth stuff along with Super Sons. Next up, a couple more oversized editions. You got the Seven Soldiers by Grant Morrison Omnibus, Kingdom Come, the 20th Anniversary Deluxe Edition, Multiversity, Dark Knights, and Metal. A couple more DC books. You got Harley Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens, or, you know, just the Gotham City Sirens Omnibus. The deluxe edition of Justice League of America, The Nail. Squ uh, Swamp Thing by Scott Snyder, New 52. You got the three hardcovers for Brightest Day. You got uh, Gail Simone's Secret Six. Justice League vs. Suicide Squad from Rebirth. Uh, random Justice League, the first uh, New 52 volume. And then the ending of that run with the Dark Side War uh, collection right there, hardcover. Followed by two Detective Comics Rebirth Oversized Hardcovers from Tinion and the Rebirth Deluxe Edition One-Shot. The Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, Obneys, 1, 2, and 3, and the first volume of the Grant Morrison run. JSA Omnibuses, 1, 2, and 3. The Fourth World Omnibus by Jack Kirby, Mr. Miracle from Tom King, and this Jack Kirby 100th uh, Birthday Celebration Collection. Walter Simonson Orion Omnibus, the Darwin Cook Deluxe Edition of New Frontier, Starman Omnibus, missing volume three of course, but I might just uh, get rid of these and get that Omnibus if it doesn't get canceled of course. The Earth One stuff, which I really like, Batman, Teen Titans, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern. Watchmen and before Watchmen, the Minutemen and Silk Spectre, I think those are the only ones worth getting. And over here we start our Vertigo section, mixed with the uh, Hanna-Barbera universe, or Beyond Hanna-Barbera, I think it was called. So yeah, American Vampire Omnibus Volume 1 with uh, Volume 6, 7, and 8, uh, which uh, hopefully we do get that second Omnibus eventually. I never could get my hands on the Animal Man Omnibus, so I got these for dirt cheap. It's the original trades for uh, Grant Morrison's Animal Man. And uh, yeah, the Hanna-Barbera stuff, Scooby Apocalypse, Flintstones, Future Quest, Jetsons, uh, Snagglepuss. I, I do want to collect everything on that line because I love Hanna-Barbera. All 15 volumes of the Fable series. The, this, these are deluxe oversized. That is the complete series. Gail Simone's Clean Room, Dark Knight from Paul Dini, Day Tripper from Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba. Flex Mentallo from Grant Morrison. Actually, all of these are Grant Morrison. Joe the Barbarian, 
uh, Kid Eternity Deluxe uh, a hardcover, Kill Your Boyfriend and Vim Manorama, all deluxe hardcovers. Next up, Jason Aaron's Scalped Deluxe Edition. You got Spaceman from Brian Azzarello and Eduardo Riso. Preacher from Garth Ennis, Steve Dillon. Absolute Sandman. I only have the first two Absolutes. I, I still haven't gotten around to uh, collecting the entirety, the entirety of the series. I think it's six total. So yeah, there's a lot of collecting. And these things uh, can be a little bit pricey, especially when some of them go out of print, but fortunately they put them back in print. So that's great. I was going to collect the Alan Moore Swamp Thing stuff, but I'd rather wait for the Absolute Editions because they look much cooler on the shelf, right? You got Sheriff of Babylon from Tom King, Scott Snyder's The Wake, Sandman Overture, you got the first volume of Transmet, uh, We Three, Sweet Tooth, Why the Last Man, and the I Zombie Omnibus. Continuing our journey with uh, indies, if you will, we go over to some Dark Horse books. We got Black Sad, one of my all time top 10 comics ever. Breath of Bones, Black Hammer, Conan, back when it was with uh, Dark Horse, Concrete Volume 1, I never got around to picking up more Concrete Volumes, Empowered, same thing, How to Talk to Girls at Parties, the first volume of Lady Killer, you got an Overwatch comic anthology, Sherlock Frankenstein, Fear Agent Library Edition, then over here, The World of Edina from Mobius, the Art of Overwatch, Hyrule Historia, Giant Days trade paperback, and then this small boom section, <laughs> Irredeemable, Klaus, one volume of Suicide Risk. I never got around to picking up the series because it is very hard to do so with one of the volumes terribly out of print. Uh, Welcome Back, volume one. I gotta finish that eventually. And then we move on to Image. Image stuff, Alex plus Ada, Black Magic, Black Science, Birthright, Chu, Descender, some Rick Remender action right here. Of course we had it here with Black Science, but uh, Deadly Class, East of West, Death or Glory, God Country from uh, Donny Cates, Ghosted from Joshua Williamson, Fatal from Brubaker, The Goddamned from Jason Aaron, Huck, from Mark Miller, Isola, got the Hexed Omnibus, Scotty Young's I Hate Fairyland, Invincible, all 12 oversized hardcovers, one of my all-time favorites, uh, Kill Six Billion Demons, one, two, and three. Here we have Low from Remender, Manifest Destiny, Monstrous, Moonshine, Murder Falcon, Nameless, Paper Girls, Peter Panzerfaust, we got Postal, need to finish that, this long one is Private Eye, Rad Queens, I Kill Giants, Reborn from Mark Miller, Revival Deluxe Edition, Rumble, Saga, Skyward, you got Snot Girl, Strange Girl Omnibus, Unnatural, Tokyo Ghost, The Walking Dead Compendiums, The Wicked Plus The Divine, Witches, and Wayward. Some non-image stuff, you got Mouse, Annihilator, you got the Archie stuff, F-Drive with Archie and the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Uh, Rick and Morty, you got Superior over there. For Scott McCloud, Understanding Comics. My favorite things is Monsters. The Incal, Ghost in the Shell for some reason. Uh, should be elsewhere with other manga. Uh, Through the Woods, Essex County, The Sculptor, This One Summer, Sheets, and Too Cool to Be Forgotten. And I totally forgot to talk about Humanoids, uh, Muse, uh, Castle on the Stars, that's out of focus. An Overwatch art book, still out of focus. And Usagi Yojimbo. On this other shelf, we've got some completed manga of, as of this video. Uh, volume 14 hasn't come out, but yeah, that will be coming out uh, soon. And I will complete that series. Prison School, you got Wolfsmund, it's a Mega Man pop. My small Inyo Asano collection, Nijigahara Holograph, Goodnight Poon Poon, followed by Olympus, which is not by Asano. Junji Ito stuff, Tsumaki, Tomie, Gyo, Fragments of Horror, you got Cat Diary, Smashed, Shiver, Frankenstein. 
my only Gundam volume. For here we got Aoki Urusawa's Pluto, Ran on the Grey World, Death Note All-in-One Edition. And if we look in the back, all of Monster from Naoki Urusawa. So, there we go. And finally, One Piece. I am collecting One Piece. So there is a lot of One Piece over there from volume one all the way up to volume 66 as of this video. Here's a random shot of some art books and other uh, collectibles that uh, do not fit on the Calyx. So I have here on this closet, some other uh, Marvel and DC books right there. And my final stack of manga, you got uh, Samurai Deeper Kyo over there, completed. You got two volumes of To Your Eternity, Fire Force up to volume six, My Hero Academia Vigilantes, first five volumes. And this really cool, you got Onegai Teacher, this really cool Japanese edition of uh, Naruto number one. Thank you, Alex, so much. That's awesome. You know, it's a small collection. I don't have a lot of books, just uh, some random stuff that I do like. Actually, yeah, I know how that sounds. <laughs> there is a ton of books there, but it's a, it's a nice uh, little small collection that I like. Obviously, there are bigger ones out there, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I love, genuinely love every single book that I have on display here. Um, just wonderful stuff from Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, manga, uh, you got um, Hellboy stuff, IDW, Valiant, really awesome stuff all around, and the uh, figures, which I also love. And there you have it, folks, the collection tour of graphic editions, manga, and everything else in between for 2019. Did I miss anything? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure you have opinions on stuff I'm missing. Leave those in the comments down below. If you want me to review any of the books mentioned in this video, let me know in the comment section as well. Guys, thank you so much for following, commenting, liking, subscribing, following me on your favorite social media platform, all that fun stuff. Thank you so very much. I've got to go. We'll catch all of you on our next video.